Welcome to this video introduction to the SoundTower OB6 Plug SE for the Dave Smith Instruments OB6. SoundTower has long been the leader in software editors for the major keyboard and synth manufacturers, but now has added a twist to controlling your hardware instruments in the studio. Now there's the Plug SE, a line of plugins that install and instantiate in your favorite DAW as a virtual instrument and allows you to edit, manage, and automate the available parameters of your synth in real time. The Plug SE series from SoundTower also allows you to bring many of the features of their full editors directly to your DAW for editing and saving your programs. I would recommend reviewing the video available at SoundTower.com to learn how to set up the OB6 for proper communication. Go to SoundTower.com slash OB6, click on the Plug SE section, and watch the video titled MIDI, Global Settings and MIDI Communication, found at the bottom of that page. After installation of the Plug SE, Open a new session. The OB6 Plug SE will be available as a virtual instrument. Of course, the Plug SE is not a virtual instrument in the usual sense. It creates no audio. It simply provides a way to exchange data between the external hardware instrument and the DAW. Clicking on the Insert button opens the OB6 panel. The first thing we must do is establish and confirm the connection between the OB6 and the editor. Click MIDI. Be sure the OB6 is selected in the MIDI import and MIDI outport, and then the OB6 should appear online. To confirm communication, simply adjust a couple of the knobs on the front panel of the OB6, and you should see them moving on the Plug SE screen. So let's go to the banks page. There are five user banks and five factory banks. You can select any of the available banks and click on any of the programs to recall that program in the OB6. If you right-click on any of the program names in the bank view, you can copy the selected program to the clipboard, paste a program to this location from the clipboard. You can save a program to your hard drive. And load a program to this location from your hard drive. You can also view the OB6 programs by category. Keys, organs, strings, soft synths, and so on. Clicking the File button allows you to save and recall banks of programs to and from your hard drive. Here we can save a bank. And if we choose, we can recall it. but we'll cancel that for now. Clicking the MIDI button allows you to receive specific program banks from the OB6 or receive all user banks from the OB6. Just make your selection and selected bank will load into the editor from the OB6. If you've made any edits on the OB6 and want those edited programs to appear on the editor, you'll need to take this step. You can also transmit banks to the OB6. You can also load the factory presets to user banks in the OB6 if you wish. So let's take a look at the menus across the top of the program. Under File, we can save a single program to the hard drive. Or we can obviously load a single program from the hard drive. Under the Edit menu, we can copy and paste the current program to and from the clipboard. We've already discussed the uh, MIDI functions. So now let's look at Host. This feature allows you to save programs to the host layer of the plugin. In this case, in Logic, we can save the parameters of uh, Welcome Back Tom and save it to a different location, let's say uh, under this uh, useful pad. This will have taken the parameters of Welcome Back Tom and saved it to this new location. However, in Logic, for some reason, the name is not updated. This is not necessarily the case in other DAWs. This is just another way to store your sounds. 
under send, we can send the sound from the editor to the OB6, or we can select the sound from the host layer, as we uh, discussed previously. Receive brings the sound that's currently on the OB6 over to the editor. Write allows us to save any changes we've made to programs or to simply move sounds around. So for instance, if I wanted to move this program, guess who's Bach, and I want it to move uh, user bank four in, let's say 406, I can do that, can select that, and then come up here, change the program to program, okay. I can change the, uh, the category. Then I just hit write. And to confirm that, go to banks, user bank 406, and there's my new program. And that's about it for the menus. One of the most important features of the Plug SE is to allow the automation recording and playback of all the parameters uh, from the synth. So let's take a look at that. And we'll throw a track into record. We're going to enter automation using the front panel of the OB6. And we'll record those and we'll watch them go in and then we'll play it back. So now we'll play those back and I'll record the audio on another track. I'll throw that into mute. Let's go back to the beginning. I'll open up the, uh, the plug SE and we can watch the automation playback. Just throw this in record. The OB6 from Dave Smith Instruments is a stunning collaboration between two industry pioneers. The Sound Tower Plug SE for the OB6 and the full-featured OB6 editor brings full control and automation to this great instrument. The OB6 Plug SE from Sound Tower. It's that easy.